morning, everyone. My name is Miss Ashley, and welcome to another week of our virtual pre-K art day here at the Living Arts and Science Center. Behind our camera today, we have Miss Heather. So while we are crafting and reading today, if you guys have any comments or questions, just let Miss Heather know, and she will let me know. Today, we are very excited to read the book Skippy John Jones. He is a crazy cat and does crazy things. And then after we read our book, I'm going to show you all how to make your very own Skippy John Jones paper plate mask. So let's read our story and then dive into our craft. If you have this book with you and want to follow along, now is the time to grab. But if not, let's come on in closer. Skippy John Jones, Cirque de Ole. Skippy John Jones was a real high-wire Henry. And that made his mama as worried as a worm in the waiting pool. Oh, my fleas, wailed Mama Junebug Jones. Come down from that wire before you break all your bones. He can't hear you, sang his sisters, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo. Cause Skippy's up in the squirrely world. The girls were right. The kitty boy was performing tail tingling tricks on a telephone wire above them. That's amazing, gushed the girls. He should join the circus. Circus berserkus, groaned Mama. I'm calling the fire department. Fire department? Repeated Chilly Boo. Skippy's not on fire, he's on a wire. Before Junebug Jones could press a button, the kitty boy did a triple spin backflip dive right into Mama's apron pocket. That was really good for a chiwulu, said Juju B. The word is chihuahua, said Mama, frazzled, and he is not that. Skippy John Jones is a Siamese cat. He then she lugged her catch of the day back to his room for a time out and a big talk. What did you think you were gonna do up there? You and those squirrels were on a wire in midair. What if you tripped and fell on your head? You'd have to spend months in a hospital bed. Then, as Junebug Jones pawed at her hives, she let the truth slip about cats and nine lives. I wish we had nine, but we only have one. So think about that, my Siamese son. And then she closed the door. The kitty boy was thinking all right about bouncing his big boy on his big boy bed. Ooh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I don't have nine lives. So what's the big deal? Hey, did I just see flies? Indeed he did and he chased one over to his mirror. Where he ate it. Holy smack, snackito, exclaimed the kitty boy. Love dim crunchies. Then he looked into the mirror and using his very best Spanish accent, he said, if I have but one life to live, muchacho, let me live as a chihuahua. In less time than it takes a flea to fly to Florida, Skippy John Jones put together a fine costume while he sang in a moy moy soft voice. Oh, my name is Scapito Frisquito, and I'm one handsome daredevilito. I'm physically fit, every part, every bit, just right for a circus Puchito. In the meantime, over in a sewing nook, Mama was attempting to have a sensible conversation with the girls. Where is Jilly Boo's tutu? asked Mama. The Chiwulu has the tutu, replied Juju B. Whatever for? asked Mama. Because Chiwulus wear tutus, said Jezebel. And cows wear moo moos, added Juju B. 
and boo-boos wear band-aids, continued Jezebel. And I need a nap, moaned Mama. But the Chiwulu wasn't thinking tutus, moo-moos, or boo-boos. He was thinking of flying through the air with the greatest of fleas, just like the dog on the flying trapeze. Until thump, he planted his paws in a perfecto landing on the turf outside the Cirque de Olay, shouted the, his amigos, los chimichangos. Hola! Hollered, hollered back Scapito Frisquito, the great Acrobatito, to his barking buddies. Hold your ponies, Papito, declared Paquito Tiquito, Paquito Tito, who? The smallest of the small ones. Have you grown a big bigote? No, I did not grow a mustachito, answered the Gatito. <laughs> it's just part of my costume. Bueno, said Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, because we need you to grow something mucho más importante. But what can be more important than a mustache, muchachos? asked Capito. Los muchachos, said all the pepitos, not the lumpitos giganticos, declared Capito. Oh, si, sí, muchacho, said Pe Pito Tito, the muscles. Then Don Diego pulled an old circus poster out of his right ear and let it unroll. Now, do you get it, dude? Oh, I get it all right, said Scapito. It means I am low dog on the totem pole. This made the chihuahuas twist and shout. Oh, yes, that's right, Scapito. Your cabeza is just what we need -o. And your muscles must grow just in time for the show, or else it will all crumble, Ito. <coughs> then all the peritos snuck under the skirts of the big top. First, the muchachos tippy toed by the cabalicida practicing her pony, and they slipped past the payaso, putting the, his paper popping puppy through his paces. But it wasn't until they reached the Elefante that the Pepitos had to worry. Watch your step, amigos, warned Piquito Tito. But we are the Pulgas to her. We are not fleas, said Scapito. We are the Chihuahuas. And that wasn't all the Doggitos had to watch out for. They saw lions and tigers and bears, oh my. But the most dangerous animal of all lay sleeping like a baby in his cage. Let's take a peek, Pepito, said Scapito. Let's take the, the trahas-jested Pepito Tito. Not his costume, declared Scapito, alarmed. Por qué? Because it will look mucho major on you, senor. Then they all raced like rabbits over to their dressing room. But the circus waits for no dog. So with the speed of a spit bull, the Puchitos change their chico in the world and circus pero con mochalos. First they gave him a uh, vitamina. Then they called for his new traje. It's too big, complained Gato. No worries, woofed Don Diego. We will pump you up and pump the pero stid, singing, ooh, singing, um papa, loom papa lito. We'll give you the muscles you need -o. cause strong you must be for the triple TP, so we don't go boom, tumbleito. Then, it was the moment of truth as they floated Scapito out under the big top. Peros poured out from every point and piled on top of Scapito's grande cabeza. Up, up, up they climbed until they formed a perfecto tower of tiny trembling chihuahuas. And beneath the tower stood the power, tough and shanky as five-day-old jello. But just as the pups were about to make circus history, Pa 
Patsy Struggle Boot, the strong dog, shuddered out, strutted out in the center ring, and bit the behind of the very own Trahe. Ole! shouted the crowd. Oh no! cried Scapito as the tiny trembling tower of power trembled from his head. Ta da! blasted Labanda bon as Scapito flew up into the rafters like a, a punctured balloon. Woohoo! hooted the crowd as the gato caught hold of the trapito. Then he flew through the air with the greatest of squeeze. The brave little cat on the flying trapeze. But just as he reached the highest point, Scapito let go and dazzled, let go and dazzled the audience again with a true whirly squirrely twist into the tightrope. But the tightrope acted like a slingshot and flop! It sent Scapito up, up, up into the tippy top of the tent. Then swoop, down, down, down he dove. Cabeza first into the cotton candy kitten ball cannon. Where Pootsie Strungleboot, the strong dog, was waiting to light the fuse. Drum roll, por favor, ordered Don Diego. Then, kaboom! El Scapito Frisquito, the great acrobito, blasted out of the circus, out of the closet, and right out of his room. Smack a doodle doo! shouted the kitty boy as he collided with Mama's head. Wow! exclaimed Jezebel. Where did he come from? He came from the circus, silly, said Jilly Boo. That, later that night, after a piece of maple mouse pie and Kitty Boy made up a rhyme just for his mama and delivered it with the most sincere bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, but you're the bee's knees, cause your cooking is smoking. Hey, did I just see fleas? Mama asked, beginning to scratch. Circus fleas, replied the kitty boy proudly. Circus berserkus, muttered Mama. Get your collars out, kittens. It's going to be an itchy night. The end. What did you think about Skippy John Jones? He is a crazy Siamese cat. He definitely gets in a lot of different uh, troubles and situations. And there's a lot of Skippy John Jones books. If you don't have them, check out your library. I bet there'll be quite a few. All right, friends, now it's time to create our very own Skippy John Jones cat mask. So I made a sample. Mine doesn't look exactly like Skippy John Jones. He definitely doesn't have as much black on it, but that's okay. You can make your own version if you want. So what are we gonna need for today? I have some glue. I have liquid glue today, but um, glue sticks will work just fine. I have some washable paint and a brush. If you don't have that at home, just grab some markers or crayons. I have a pencil or a Sharpie so I can mark on my paper plate. Some scissors. A popsicle stick so we can use it as a handle. I have some different color googly eyes, some silly eyes, a paper plate, and some black and white paper. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut our paper plate. Now this may be something you and your grown-up do together. If you have trouble cutting your paper plate, just ask your grown-up for help. But it's a great way to practice your cutting skills. Okay, so I made a mark about halfway down on my paper plate, and that's going to be where I cut. And I also kind of did it as an arch. It's not a perfectly straight line. It kind of has an arch to it. Now I'm going to cut that out. And Miss Heather was telling me earlier she had never read any of the Skippy John Jones books. What do you think about Cirque de Olay, Miss Heather. Uh, Mr. Skippy is hilarious. I loved that book. He's silly. 
And there's a whole series you were talking about, Ms. Yeah, Ashley? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of series. All right, so we have our face cut out. Next, I'm going to add some hair to it. I'm going to use my paintbrush. And I'm going to show you a really cool way to make it look like the paint is hairs. This is something called dry brushing. And it means that my brush is really, really dry. Who'd have thought? Okay, so I'm gonna get just a little bit of paint on this. It's not a whole lot, it's just a little bit. And then, very lightly, very gently, I just brush onto my paper plate. The harder you push, the more paint will come off of your paintbrush. But the lighter and more gentle you do it, the less paint and the more like hair it's gonna look. Okay, so we have some hair on our paper plate. I'm gonna scoot this out of my way so I don't get any on my arms. Next, we're gonna cut out our ears and our eyes. And we're gonna use our black and white paper for this. So we're gonna cut out two triangles of white and two triangles of black. And those are gonna give us the ears. And I like to cut out my white part first. That way when I put it on my black paper, I can trace it to be bigger. I'll show you. So on my example here, you can see black around my white. And that's because when I put it here, I made sure there was room around it. So I don't line it up all the way to the bottom. I kind of make a mark on the outside here. It's like I'm framing the ear. Okay, so you're gonna do two white triangles and then you're gonna cut out two black triangles. I'm just gonna do one as I'm showing you, but you and your grown-up should cut out two. Hey, unless you want your cat to have one ear or seven ears, you can cut out as many as you want. You can be really creative. Okay, now I'm going to take my glue. Make sure it's not gonna come out all over me. And put a little bit of glue right here so I can put ooh, a lot of glue squeezed out really much. Okay. So you're gonna do this to all of your ears. You're gonna glue the white part on top of the black part. And then we're gonna make our mask. So Skippy John Jones, he's a Siamese cat, so he has a lot of coloring right around the middle of it. So we're going to add that with some black paper. And to do this, you're just going to make a big rectangle. So like a stretched out square. So on my paper here, I've marked one line right there, and that's going to give me a nice rectangle. Okay, so you can keep it as a rectangle, or you'll notice Miss Ashley cut out a little part right here for the nose. So if you want to add that part for the nose, you're going to cut a triangle right in the center there. That way your nose fits right in there perfectly. Okay, now's the fun part, the googly eyes. So I grabbed a couple different ones. I'm gonna make this one really silly. So it's gonna have different colored googly eyes. Skippy John Jones has some blue. So I'm gonna do one blue and one yellow. I think that'll be kind of silly. I'll do a dot of glue for one of them and another dot for the second one. Okay. So now that we have our mask, our eyes made, and we have our ears made, 
Let's put it on our Skippy John Jones. So this is our mask. The round part is going to be where the ears go. It's going to be the top of the head. So take your glue, and I think it's easier for the ear part to put your glue on the paper first. If you want to put it on the back of your ear, that's fine. But I've learned that this is just a little bit easier to do it this way. So I glue and I squish, squish, squish. Make sure it's on there real tight. And then to add the eyes, I do the same thing. I put the glue on the paper. So I glue and squish. Squish, squish, squish. And I'm doing that so it sticks real tight. Okay, so we have our ears on, we have our eyes on, and the last thing is our popsicle stick as our holder. And we're going to put that on the back of our paper plate. So this is our back here, and you see that our paper plate has that ridge. And that's where we're going to put our popsicle stick, along that ridge. You can put it here in the center if you want, and get really silly and creative. But if you put it on the side there, it won't be in your way when you put it on your face. So add some glue. And I'm right-handed. I use my right hand for a lot of things. So I'm going to put it on the right side of my mask. All right, so it's not all the way dry. You're going to want to leave it for a few minutes so that glue has time to sit and really hold on. You did it. You made your own Skippy John Jones mask. Now, Miss Heather and I would love to see the one that you guys made at home. Did you do it just like Miss Ashley, or were you more creative and do different colors or different eyes? So take a picture and comment below. So that was our craft and our book of the day. Now it's time to close off our virtual pre-K art day like we always do and sing our song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. If you know the words, sing nice and loud. And I hope to see you guys next week for another really fun story and craft. So I'm going to start off, and when I nod, it's time for you to join me. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next Tuesday.